So today we're diving into the latest announcements from NVIDIA, the RTX 50 series Blackwell GPUs. We will approach this from the perspective of a video editor, so I won't be discussing like fake frames or 3D modeling or AI gimmicks. So NVIDIA's new lineup includes the RTX 5090 at $2,000 MSRP, the 5080 at $1,000, the 5070 Ti at $750 and the 5070 at $550. Now, NVIDIA claims that the 50 series is going to be a significant improvement over the 40 series, but we need to see if the performance claims hold up in the real world. Sadly, except for the 5090, all the other models have the same amount of VRM as the 40 series. So the pricing on paper seems a bit more reasonable than in past generations, except for the flagship 5090. But let's be real, usually the, the actual price outside of NVIDIA's suggested retail tends to be higher. These prices are also before the tariffs that should come later this month. So we'll see, if you are coming from the 30 series, this may not feel like a extreme upgrade, except for the 5090. So this pricing strategy could alienate those of us who aren't ready to, to shell out two grand for a GPU. Now let's talk about video editing. NVIDIA will finally offer support for the 422 10-bit codecs, which is a significant upgrade since only Intel GPUs used to be able to, to accelerate it. Many consumer cameras typically shoot in 420, 8 or 10-bit. 2 provides more, more information, slightly increasing the, the file size, but it's worth the extra storage. Let's discuss decoding. Video files are getting larger and more detailed with resolutions up to 8K, 12K, you know, for some cameras. Decoding those files is usually a challenge. So this new hardware should handle timelines smoothly, having no stuttering, potentially no lag when you're working on multicam setup or while doing stuff like denoising or color grading. As for the encoder, the 50 series accelerates that too. With NVIDIA 9th generation of the ENC encoder, video export times will be faster. The 5090, for example, should export video up to 60% faster than the RTX 4090. But we need to wait for independent reviews to confirm that. This GPU also comes with the AV1 Ultra Quality Mode, featuring a 5% compression while maintaining basically the same quality. And it's not just the hardware though. NVIDIA is working directly with software developers like Adobe for Premiere Pro or Blackmagic design for DaVinci Resolve and starting in February these technologies will be integrated into our editing tools so we'll see the results I hope for the best I will keep an eye on the upcoming reviews and also the actual market pricing not only for these generations but also in the used markets in the next coming months as there could be some great bargains I will also make a video about building a PC for editing videos after gathering all the news if you want to build your first PC and you're a music producer you can check out this video here